Hello dear Castle fans, TV. we are back doing the whiteboard, sorry it's out late, I finished work 10 o'clock so it was quite late for me to get home, uh, but here it is for you, ready for match day which is today, so we're going to start up Newcastle first and this is the lineup I think that Rafa will go with, so Dolo in goal, I think he'll go with Yedlin at right back, I think it'll be Lascelles, Clark, Dummett, Hayden ahead of uh, Colback, Shelby in the middle, Atsu I think he'll play on the left instead of Gufran, uh, on the other, other side I think Richie will keep his place at right wing, I think Diomi will play in the number 10 role and Gale up top as well. So we're going to have a look at where we can hurt Birmingham. And I think personally for me, it's going to be on the width. We'll see why when we do Birmingham in a moment. So looking at the lineup then, so let's begin then. So I think um, the reason why I'm going for Yedlin is simply because, as I mentioned just before there, on the width, uh, what you'll find is on Birmingham, they've got a couple of makeshift, uh, well not makeshift, second choice uh, on the width and full back position. So we'll know that Yedlin will bomb on. And he'll be up against uh, the likes of Fabrini. Now, I think Fabrini will play a left midfield, the Italian, and he'll not want to track back at all with these two. He will hate, he's the typical Italian creative midfielder who doesn't like it, just trots back, you know, he does not want to get back. So I think Yedlin will come in because of that reason. We know what Matt Ritchie can do. I would personally like to see him get more down there, but we know that he's left footed. We know that he'll come into this position and try either clip it in for Gale or he'll try and have a pot shot himself as well. On the other flank, we know that Dummett won't get forward as much, which I feel will give this little man a bit of license to run. I think Gufran last game, and probably the last two or three games, like majority of the rest of Newcastle side, to be fair, have been pretty poor. Have been pretty poor. But I would like to say Atsugia, left winger, on the left, left footer, on the left wing. Boom! Get down there, Justin Atso, use your pace because they've got to make sure, well, a second choice right back in Cogley who will be playing right back for Birmingham. Get at him because Jonathan Spector is not available. Hayden, I think Hayden will play ahead of Colback. Just, just the simple reason because Colback's been missing for the last two games and I'd be pretty surprised if he chucks Colback in out of the blue. But this is Rafa we're talking about. It's very, very difficult to predict Rafa. John Joe Shelby, this man, I think he needs to step up. He's been off the boil the last couple of, couple of games. Maybe that, uh, that FA here and, and is, is looming over his head, you know. And obviously he's got his red card, stupid red card, overturned. Bonkers decision um, by sending him off and Paul Dummett in the last game. Absolutely ludicrous. But for me, for Shelby, I'd like to see Shelby get on. I really would. We know what Shelby can do, and it's great. And I've met, I've picked this up before. He's great at doing all this long balls. But when, when it isn't paying off, that's when he needs to not let his head get down. He needs to get forward. Because we all know Shelby's got one hell of a shot on him. Why not use that as a weapon? Why not? Get forward, Shelby. Help get some goals. I think he needs he needs double figures this season or it's a failure for me. Do you not think? Let me know what you think your thoughts down there. Does Shelby need 10 goals plus or it's a failure? On the other hand, Mo Diarmi, who will be in the in the attacking midfield role, you would think, because I'd be pretty surprised if Rafa plays two up top. I mean, he hasn't all season. Well, unless we're chasing a game, you know. So Diarmi in the number 10, he'll be the link. And I think he's so much better. And Lee Ryder, when I interviewed Lee Ryder at the Chronicle, he picked this up and he said that, yeah, Diarmi hasn't got the best of starts. And I, and I took into consideration what he said about Mo Diarmi, the link in midfield. And I can get it. I can totally get it because a couple of times that Perez has played, he's been a bit of a ghost. A bit of a ghost, especially when we played Cardiff in particular. So Diarmi in the number 10 role. But again, for Mo Diarmi, how many times at the end of the match, right, is any fan who's been to a game this season think, Hey, Mo Giammi had three or four chances the day he was so unlucky. You think to yourself, man, did he even have one shot? Don't you? you, you that's what I want from Mo Giammi. Giammi, be greedy. Let's get some shots in. Let's fire some shots at the keeper. Because Kuziak will be in for a busy afternoon. We know this little fella, goal scoring machine. Yes, he's been off the boil the last two games. As I've already mentioned, a lot of Newcastle side have, to be fair. He needs service again. So, Chris Nacho, get your crosses in. Get down the byline. Richie, clip them in if you have to, if you go down. And I also feel that Diomi needs to feed him. And obviously, Shelby as well. We know that Dwight Gale, this kind of era, he'll score. He loves the fox in the box, but he also can run off the defender as well. Um, the two centre-backs, Clark and Lascelles, all they've got to do is, for me, is talk to each other because they're going to be up against two uh, strikers who like to put the elbows in the air and chest it down and header it and all that. So you've got Donaldson and Yukitovic as well. So they need to be talking to each other. But I do feel that this man needs to be at it because I feel personally 
that the threat is going to come down Birmingham's right midfield with David Cotterill. Now, David Cotterill will not always beat his man. He's kind of, he's not, he's not as good as Beckham, of course not, but he's, he doesn't need to beat his man to whip it in. He'll take the free kicks, he'll take the set pieces, corners, you name it. Uh, Cotterill will be honest. So it's down to Paul Dummett. So this is Cotterill. It's down to Paul Dummett to get in there, stop it. And it's also... I think that's key because if you stop the stop the stop crosses coming in with Birmingham, they'll not score. And I think it'll be an easy afternoon if we do. Same as Yedlin as well. Yedlin's got to do his side with Fabrini, but I think Fabrini will cut in because he's right footed as well. Speaking of Birmingham, let's get over there. Birmingham behind us, let's have a look at their lineup. Uh, so I'm going with the same side that I've done on the Thursday night uh, that I went for. Now, if there's been any changes to the Birmingham news on Friday, I haven't seen any. So, Birmingham fans, if you're watching, apologise if there has been. So, Kuziak in goal. Uh, Cogley, who, who is the second choice right back, who I feel key for Atsu to have a get at go at. Morrison, Shotton, uh, Jonathan Grounds, left back. Cotterell, as I already mentioned, Paul Dummett needs to get tight to him. He'll play on the right. Teshe and Keefton Beld will play. Kind of like two defensive midfielders on the left-hand side. I, I, I said I think it will be Fabrini, but I could get this one wrong. Birmingham fans, let me know who might play there. Donaldson and Yukitovic as two up top as well. Right, so we're going to jump straight to it. Uh, we're going to start off there, right back, who is second choice right back. So this is key for me to Christian Atsu to get at him because uh, Jonathan Spector is against him, is, is suspended, sorry. So if we have, say, Atsu here... Atsu will just want to run at him, and it, it can't, no, no right back likes to likes to pay, play against pace. So for me, that's why I'm going for Atsu on the left. Uh, Cottrell, yeah, let's talk about Cottrell, the Welsh international. Um, he will literally from this kind of position, he will just cross it. He will just cross it all day for fun. He's got a great delivery on him. He'll take your free kicks, corner as I've already mentioned as well. So it's down to Paul Dummett, literally. Get in his face. Stop that delivery. Stop that delivery. What does what does this happen? What happens to these two? Less chances. Stop that delivery coming in, Paul Dummett. You'll be fine as well. On the other hand, Fabrini, if it is Fabrini, he's right footed, so he'll come in. So he'll offer uh, the likes of what? Uh, the likes of Yedlin and an alternative. But I think Yedlin's got a lot, a lot more going forward because Fabrini, for me, going this way. It's not happening with Birmingham. It's not happening. If it's going backwards, that's where Yedlin's going to come in and that's going to be strong for Yedlin as well. These two, Teshi and Keefton Belt, if I've said that right, I think these two guys will just sit in front of the two centre-backs, Morrison and Shotton. So I think they'll just hover there and they'll be very counter-attacking Birmingham side as well. With, with As I've already mentioned, I feel... The game is going to be won or lost from Newcastle side by the wingers, personally, for me. These two guys, Donaldson... And uh, you could have it to rely on a lot of service, especially in the year as well. So, like I said, stop the supply. And obviously, Jamal Lascelles and Kieran Clark will need to talk to each other and possibly even Isaac Hayden, Isaac Hayden just in front of them just to talk to each other, all three of them as well. The good in the air, as you can see, these two guys are giants if you haven't seen them. And also, Shotton and Robinson will come up as well. They're very, very strong in the air. They're very, very good at nicking the ball back off opponents as well. So, it's going to be an interesting game, but I do feel Newcastle are a little bit too strong for Birmingham in this game at St. James's Park as well. I'm going to actually going to go for a 2-0 win. And as long as Newcastle stop them with, I think we'll win the game quite, I wouldn't say quite comfortably, but we should win this game 2-0. Obviously, I'll be there. Fan cams at the new location, which is by the Leases Corner, just outside where the gate comes in. I'll be hovering around that kind of area. So give me a shout as well. You'll see it on my Twitter and Facebook uh, on Saturday as well, uh, where it is. Right, thank you very much for watching Newcastle Fans TV. Let me know what you think of your thoughts down there below. And we'll see you later.